Welcome back to another episode of Physical Spirits. Today, we are in Tampa Bay, Florida. It's in mid-February. Stay tuned. In today's episode, we are fishing with Captain Eddie Cooper, owner of Sundays Inshore Charters out of Tampa, Florida. Weather is projected to be in the mid-80s today and should make for a great day out on the water. What are we fishing for today? We're going to go for redfish, snook, trout, bluefish, possibly going to pass by coho. We're going to drop some sheephead later on in the afternoon. We're going to see if we can get everything to bite today. Captain Eddie started the day off by taking us to one of his favorite trout honey holes, which happened to be only a five minute boat ride away from the boat ramp. He said that the trout likes hanging out in this trough that runs parallel to the bank where they can ambush bait as they swim by. He chummed the water using live white bait to hopefully get the fish into a feeding frenzy. We call these white bait? It's like, it's like, a, like a shad. Almost. And they got the thread pin here, a little bit more oily. Pretty much the same bait, a little bit more oily, a little bit more soft. We do a little bit more durable bait, scales stay on them. Mm -hmm. The thread pins, a little bit softer bait, real oily, and they lose all of their, skin, their scales. But they got a little thread that comes off their back pin. Mm -hmm. That's what we call it. Cool, man. These white baits. Up. All the way around. Taking these white baits and going right behind all the vitals, right in the bottom of the belly. Just tossing that out. Step in there. The tackle we're using today are Ortho Gold Medium Heavy 8 foot rods paired with a Florida Fishing Products Resolute Spinning Reel spooled with 15 pound reaction tackle braid. Captain Eddie uses about three foot of 20 pound fluorocarbon leader with a one alt circle hook and a weighted clip on cork placed about two foot up the leader. Pierce's first catch of the day was a ladyfish. Because of their aggressive feeding and excellent fighting ability, these fish are exciting for like tackle. However, they are not known to have any value as table fare and are usually encountered while fishing for other species. Ladyfish are also referred to as the poor man's tarpon due to their ability to jump out of the water several times while trying to land them, just as a tarpon typically does. Pierce ended up catching the next fish as well. It ended up being a large spotted sea trout. Also known as a speckled trout, they are one of the most sought after inshore fish in Florida and are excellent table fare. They are plentiful from the panhandle of Florida down to Everglades. They are typically found near glass flats and on the edges of deeper channels where they will sit oh. and ambush bait as they swim by. Oh yeah, that's a nice trout. According to Captain Eddie, the best way to catch a speckled trout is with a popping cork and a live shrimp or white bait at least 18 inches under the cork. If you want to use lures instead of live bait, then a Berkeley Gulp shrimp or swimming mullet underneath the same popping cork is your best bet for catching sea trout. In this video, we are simply throwing our white bait over into the trough and opening the bell on our reel to allow the white bait to swim freely. Once the cork goes down, we simply close the bell on the reel and set the hook. Spotted sea trout are actually members of the drum family, which includes red drum and black drum. The larger speckled trout, also known as gators, are excellent fighters and typically will come to the surface shaking their heads vigorously in an attempt to dislodge the hooks from their mouths. Awesome dude. I ended up with the next fish on the line. It ended up being another nice sized trout. The rod and reel that I was using ended up being the hot rod for the next couple of bites. For unknown reasons, I can't tell you how many times, regardless of the type of fishing we have done, that one rod and reel would outperform all the others by catching fish after fish, whereas the other rod and reels was not catching anything. Hey, 
Let's pray. Bye. Be sure to keep pressure on the line while reeling your line in. You do this by keeping your rod tip up as you reel the fish in. When I handed Pierce the rod, neither of us kept the pressure on the line during the handoff. As a result, the fish was able to get off the hook. My cork was the next one that went down. As I handed the rod and reel to Pierce, we continued putting pressure on the fish by cranking the reel as Pierce grabbed the rod. Really? Really? As a result, we were able to successfully land the fish. You want to pop me? Oh, yeah. yeah. Come on. We got it. Oh. Four thousand. One one zero one. Which one's mine? Let me... I don't know. Here you're sharing. In this video, we are fishing during mid-February during the winter pattern, which typically runs from December to March. The winter pattern kicks off when the water temperature reaches about 53 degrees. By this time, the shrimp have completely left the marsh. There is still plenty of food for the trout to eat. This food comes in the form of bottom-dwelling finfish like croakers. These bottom-dwelling finfish are not schooled up but scattered over a large area. As a result, the trout are also scattered. The key to overcoming this is drifting your bait over an area or fishing multiple spots in a short amount of time. Trout are susceptible in streams and water temperature. Trout eat whenever there are warm spells. If the water gets cold enough, they will become lethargic and hide in deep water. The difference between winter and summer trout fishing is simple. In the summer, you want to have a line in the water before the sun comes up whereas in the winter you may want to wait until later in the day. Get it, boo? Yeah. He's swimming at you. Hi, Ready? Then come on. Right. Come on, bro. He's swimming at you. Come on, cry, get it, dude. Get it. Get the rod. Get the rod. We had another awesome day fishing with Captain Eddie. With the air temperature in the mid 80s, you could not have asked for a better February day. The fishing action was non-stop and by the end of the day, we dropped our remaining bait into one of Captain Eddie's buddy's bait cages so we could have them lively for the next day's fishing adventure. If you're ever in the Tampa area and want an experienced captain that will put you on the fish, Captain Eddie with Sunday's Inshore Charters is the guy. We'll definitely be back to do it again. Until then, catch you later. If you like this video and want to see upcoming videos, click the like button and subscribe. Before you leave, be sure to check out our description page below. This page gives you a brief description of the video you are watching along with the fishing gear used during the filming of this video. Click on to the show more link to view all of this information. I want to thank you for watching our videos, and if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to our channel to get notifications as to when our new videos are available. Meanwhile, here are a few more videos that I think you will like.